Hardiflex, maganda ba itong gamitin? Ano-ano ang application ito sa bahay? Sulit ba ito kumpara sa ibang materyales? Kung kayo interesado, panoorin mo ang video ito. Hi, this is Kuya Arky, your Kuya Architect, and if you haven't, please subscribe sa ating YouTube channel and click that notification bell para updated ka sa ating mga bagong videos. Sa video ng ito, i-discuss natin ang mga good quality at general application ng Hardiplex sa ating mga bahay. Saan saan ba ito ginagamit? So, ano bang Hardiplex? Well, una sa lahat, ang term na Hardiplex ay isang brand name, gaya ng Colgate sa isang toothpaste brand. Ang tamang generic term nito ay Fiber Cement Board or Pisin Board for short. Ito ay isang common construction board na gawa sa concrete at added fillers and strengthened by cellulose fibers. Hence the name, Fiber Cement Board. Again, Hardiflex is the brand name. Fiber Cement or Pisin Board ang proper generic name. So in the proceeding discussion, gagamitin natin ang term na Pisin Board. Now let's discuss its qualities. Ang mga good qualities ng isang pisin board includes being lightweight or magaan compare sa traditional concrete materials like CHB or mortar na maaaring magdagdag ng extra structural loads. Pisin board is also fire resistant. Dahil mostly gawa ito sa semento, ang materialis na ito ay hindi madaling magliyab unlike sa mga gawang kahoy, kaya mas ligtas sa sunog. It is also termite and pest resistant. So kung ayaw mo ng anay or iba pang insektong mapanira sa bahay, this board can be the best solution. Well, unless kumakain ng simento yung anay sa bahay nyo. No? Hindi rin ito madaling ngat-ngatin ng mga daga. It is also weather adaptive. Ibig sabihin, kaya nitong tumanggal sa ating klima na mainit at maulan. Kaya nitong ma-expose kahit sa anong weather condition. And it's free from asbestos. These are fibers which are used in the past which were discovered to be harmful. Kasi it can cause ailments, kasama na doon ang lung cancer. So generally, we can say that fiber cement boards are DL materials because of its durability and safety of use. So ano-ano nga ang mga application nito sa ating bahay? Tara, ating isa-isahin. Una, bilang isang wall partition. Kung naghahanap ka ng materiales para sa yung partitions na iwas anay at hindi takaw sunog, fiber cement board can be the best option para dito. Anyway, ang commercial dimensions ng isang pisin board ay para rin isang plywood na more or less 2.4 meters ang length at 1.2 meters ang width. Ang minimum thickness naman ng pisin board for residential wall ay 4.5 mm. In commercial use naman ay 6 mm in thickness. So, if we say partition with pisin board, ito ay makaklasify as drywall construction. It is called drywall kasi hindi gumagamit ng cement mortar o basang semento sa pagtatayo ng walls. Walang kasamang tubig kaya drywall. Usually ang gamit dito ay metal framing which are composed of metal wall studs that are spaced at 0.6 meters apart and are laid on above and a floor trap. Kung saan kinakabit ang pising boards on both sides to appear like a solid concrete wall. As stated earlier, sa nga sa advantage ng pising board as a partition ay ang pagiging lightweight or magaan ito. So kung ayaw mo ng konkretong partition dahil feeling mo mas mabigat ito, say sa iyong mga second floor or upper floor sa iyong bahay, then go for drywall using fiber cement board. Madali rin itong butasan for electrical and lighting fixtures tulad ng wall lamps, switches, convenience outlet, o mga saksakan. So, that's pising board for partitions. Sunod, ang ceiling application. Well, ang isang pising board na ceiling materials ay gaya rin ng plywood na madaling ikabit pero termite and fire resistant. Ang minimum thickness of fiber cement board for ceiling is 3.5 mm. Pwede ding gumamit ng 4.5 mm thickness for bigger ceiling areas. Typically, gumagamit ito ng metal framing system gaya rin ng drywall but this time, the metal framing is composed of wall angles, metal farring, carrying channels, and suspension rods, and their accessories. Gaya din ng isang plywood, pwedeng baluktutin or i-bend ang fiber cement board from curves or circular details sa mga ceiling tulad mga ito. Madali rin itong butasin to receive lighting fixtures. 
tulad ng mga pin lights, drop lights, at iba pang ceiling lamps. Isa rin sa magandang advantages nito ang pagiging moisture and water resistant. Unlike sa karayin ng plywood or gypsum board na lumulobo o nagkakaroon ng molds pag nababasa o ma-expose sa matinding moisture. Hindi madaling masira ang isang pising board kahit ito ay mabasa ng tubig. So kahit may butas ang iyong bubong, maaari pa rin maligtas ang iyong kisame. Generally, ang wall at ceiling application nito requires mesh tape, body filler, skin coating or plaster to hide the joint marks para maging malinis to receive primer or top coat paint finishing. Before we proceed, you can also check out our other videos on these other materials. Links in the description below. Next, ang flooring application. Yes, ang pising board ay pwedeng gawin flooring. Ang karaniyong thickness na ginagamit sa flooring ay 12 mm for sub flooring at 4.5 mm for top flooring, meaning may dalawang layers ito. The thicker 12 mm sub flooring will be screw on tubular supports which are our DLA space at 0.40 meters apart. Then the 4.5 mm top flooring will be installed using epoxy adhesive. Ang subflooring at top flooring boards should be laid perpendicular to each other. After that, you can install your desired floor finishing. Tulad ng vinyl tiles, laminated wood panels, and even lighter ceramic tiles. So, ano naman ang kagandahan ng pising board as flooring? Well, one, mas mura ito sa conventional buhos or concrete slab. Hindi na tayo gagamit pa ng graba, buhangin, semento, at reinforcement bars. Pero, durable pa rin. And of course, mas lightweight kumpara doon. Then, unlike sa traditional wooden flooring naman, di nagwa-warp or lumulobo o kaya naman nagsishwing. Ang isang pising board kahit mabasa or mainitan. And of course, again, fire and termite resistant ito. So, maganda itong gamitin sa interiors ng bahay. Ano naman ang application nito outdoors? Tara at ating alamin. Una, pising board for roofing. May dalawang general application ng pising board sa roofing. Una bilang pasha board and second bilang roof soffit. So ang isang pasha board are the one to cover the open end of rafters and trusses sa ating mga bubong. Dito rin ina-attach ang gutters. Well, metal fascia can corrode or pwedeng kalawangin. At ang wooden fascia naman ay maaring mabulok sa katagalan. Lalo na expose sila sa init at ulan. Kaya ideal ang isang pising board for alternative. Dahil water and heat resistant ito. So climate adapted siya. Perfect for outdoor. So ang karaniwang dimension ng isang fascia pising board ay about 2.4 meters in length, 0.3 meters in width, and 12 mm ang thickness. In terms naman sa roof soffit o yung ilalim sa roof overhang, we can use the typical pising board with thickness of 3.5 mm to 4.5 mm. Sunod, fiber cement board as wall cladding. Well, hindi lang pang main partition wall ang isang pising board. Pwede rin silang maging wall claddings. Ito yung mga panels or boards used to cover up the main concrete wall to hide imperfections or add aesthetic sa mga walls. Tulad ng may ito. Ginagamitin ito bilang finishing board para sa mga parapet walls. Ito yung nagka-cover sa mga roofing structure sa mga building. Gusto mo namang itago ang downspout or alulod ng iyong bukong? Pwede itong iklad or takpan ng pising boards ang mga ito. So those are for the plain boards. Then meron tayong tinatawag na wood plank type fiber cement panels. Ito yung mga pising boards na mukhang wooden panels or planks. Complete with wood grain patterns. Ito ay ginagamit as exterior cladding for houses and buildings na gusto ng wooden finish. Gaya ng mga western houses, gaya ng mga ito. Pero durable, weather resistant, di nagmumolds at hindi madaling mabulok kahit mainitan or mabasa ng ulan. Bukod sa paggamit nito sa house exteriors, nagamit din ang mga pising planks na ito sa mga gate at fences na gusto ng wooden elements or designs, kaya na ito. So there, pising board, hindi lang siya pang interior, pang exterior din. Versatile, di ba? So those are the ceiling, walls, flooring, roofing, and exterior cladding ng fiber cement board. Sana nakatulong ang video ito into giving you ideas sa application ng ganitong material. So again, Hardiflex is the brand name. Fiber cement board or pising board ang tamang generic name. So, what do you think? Sulit ba ang pising board? Saan mo ito gustong gamitin? At ano pang ibang materials ang gusto mo nating i-discuss? Write down your answers on the comments below. 
And again, you can also check out our other videos on different materials, house designs, and construction in the description below. And please leave us a like. And if you haven't, please do subscribe dito sa ating YouTube channel. Again, this is Kuya Arki, your Kuya Architect, and thank you for watching. Bye!